Now, you know, a lot of people will tell you that a Christmas tree or a small pine tree is the best uh, crappy brush pile that you can make, and that's what everybody sets. But what I want to kind of show you all today and kind of explain is, you know, Christmas trees do work. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not, you know, saying I ain't never set Christmas trees and caught fish off of them because I have. And normally you can get Christmas trees at the end of the season for like a dollar a piece. So it's a very, you know, cost efficient way to set brush piles. You know, unless you've got somebody that has a lot of fiber optic uh, PVC pipes that you're able to get. Or if you're like me and we have an abundance of trees that we can take out and set brush piles. And I just kind of want to explain my reasoning for not really liking Christmas trees. And then explain, you know, the type of tree that I look for when I want to make the perfect crappy brush pile. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to do a little bit of deer scouting while I talk. And I'm going to try to tune y'all into it. Okay, so, so right here we have what is essentially, you know, a Christmas tree. Now it is summertime and this tree looks like crap. Don't get me wrong. But, and you know, if you get a full blown Christmas tree, the whole tree is nothing but limbs all the way down to the trunk for the most part. You have like a gap right at the bottom. <clears throat> now, the way crappy set up on brush piles is normally they're either suspended on top of the brush pile or they're suspended around the brush pile but where do the bait fish suspend and that's kind of what you know keyed me into all this is where are these bait fish suspending on this brush pile and you know a crappy is a ambush predator and what I mean by that, we all know that crappy feed up. So, if they're suspended around this brush pile and all the bait is sitting on top of the brush pile, these crappy want to be under the brush pile, in the brush pile, and, you know, they don't want to be, you know, because, I mean, they're vulnerable to bass and catfish and striper even on these brush piles. So when you have a Christmas tree that looks like the one right here, you know, there's too many limbs for this tree to be able to provide good enough ambush points and good enough uh, protection from bigger predators to have a lot of crappy in this brush. Now, if you set this Christmas tree out, you would eventually have some sort of panfish, whether it's bluegill or crappy, suspended around this tree. But at the same time, what if you could have more and that's kind of the whole idea uh, around this video because you know a christmas tree is only you know normally around five to seven foot tall now me personally i'm six foot tall so if i stand next to this tree right here this is about how tall a christmas tree would be but now if we look at this tree in a bigger picture, it would go all the way up and that's probably around 14 foot tall. But if you pay close attention, there is more limbs at the top of this tree than at the bottom. Now, Am I saying I want a 14 foot tall brush pile? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is I could cut this tree down, measure it out, and I can make this tree eight foot tall. It doesn't matter what type of tree it is, as long as it's not a pine tree. I do not enjoy pine trees. But take for instance, this, this little sapling right here. Now, if we cut this tree down, all the limbs are at the top of this tree right here and when it gets down to the bottom there's no limbs so what's going to happen is if you if i would set this out on, on a cement block 
and this tree is probably eight foot tall so i would probably set it in 12 to 15 foot of water and what would happen is the crappie would suspend under all this stuff under this limb right here under this limb in between these limbs and the bait fish will be up top and in between all this and what's going to happen is there's going to be a bigger ecosystem to this brush pile than a christmas tree could provide now <clears throat> i'm hoping that makes sense for y'all but let's take this tree right here for instance you've got some limbs at the bottom but the more you go up the more limbs you have so they have a place to hide now the trees i'm showing really aren't the best because this is a dense forest or whatever you call it <laughs> so i'm gonna go try to find the perfect brush pile tree so what we have here we have a pretty you know it's about this wide tree right here now what i like about this tree is there's no limbs at least four foot from the top that gives them a place to go up under the tree and actually suspend where they need to be suspended now as the further you go up the more limbs they are the more chances you've got bait fish in here and the fish is able to ambush up into the bait fish and that's really what the main thing i'm trying to explain here is when you have a full christmas tree that's sitting on the bottom the crappy don't have anywhere to go into there to ambush you know there's a few of them that could fit in there and that's why you'll have you know 10 or 15 fish per pile but if you take trees like the ones i'm explaining and you put them in one coherent area you know you want to put bottles and stuff on the top of the limbs to make sure they float straight up that's when you're going to get your huge population of crappy because they're going to have ample places to go up under these limbs and suspend do their thing and when they're hungry they're going to come out and ambush and then you know they're going to suspend around it also just like a regular christmas tree so that's kind of what i wanted to explain on today's video is my thoughts on you know stop thinking so many christmas trees because almost any other wooded area are going to give you better trees and if you don't have them make pvc pipes the same way you can take old pvc pipes put them in a bucket and make a tree out of them but you want places for the crappy to go up under uh, the PVC pipe and then have places for the bait fish to go up top and I mean you're out there making a family of fish pretty much like a school and then you go catch them and then feed your family it's like the circle of life guys